Having only one week left to get ready for this preview screening is, is frightening. We have a huge task in front of us. First, we've got to lock the cut. We have to create uh, sound design for, for the movie. And then we've got to just get the picture really pretty. We'll test it with 400 people. That's what Andrew would like to do. There's a part of me that actually wants us to fail at this test screening next week. Not big time, because that would be disastrous. I don't want to lose the faith that the company has in the movie but fail enough to know that we do need to fix this movie and make it better. Coming up on Project Greenlight. Everything we've done so far has led up to this moment. The film will live or die based on this screening with these people. The cards going by the feet always kind of bug me a little bit, but... In order to get this film in shape for Tuesday night screening, we're going to have to cram and hustle to get this film locked. So John Kirk and I are going to have to spend all night, essentially, working on this movie. If we're going to make it in time, we have to lock the picture today. Should we bring that shot down so that we see him grab the cord more? At this point, I think if John and I had more time in the edit room where we could tweak the film, it would be beneficial. Are we good with that? Yeah. We are uh, dangerously close, dangerously close to locking this puppy and putting it to bed. Yeah, it's good. Well, it's better than before, isn't it? Yeah, the little girl's not laughing here. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm. I think it's good. So now we've locked a cut for the screening. There's still, like, a whole lot of stuff, though, to, to get done before the previous screening. So, it'll, you know, it'll look like a real picture when, when everybody watches it. We had some of the actors come by Monkeyland Studios to record some additional lines for the screening. Hey, back off. ADR is when you add additional lines of dialogue that you had, hadn't originally conceived, or you replace ones that just help us kind of spell out a little bit of what's happening that might be confusing to the audience. Close your mother shutters! I guess that's it. One of the good day's work. For this preview screening, we need to go to Photocam where they'll take all our high-def masters and do an online to create the movie that matches the cut that's in the Avid. At this point, all the work we're doing is only for this screening Tuesday night. All the work we do here tonight gets thrown out after that screening. <laughs> this is stuff that, you know, usually, you know, takes weeks and, you know, if not months, you know, in, in big movies. All right, thank you guys for, for doing that. We're down in the color correction room. And uh, basically, you know, we're trying to make the best-looking picture that we can present on Tuesday. Yeah, so we still have plenty of detail in the box oh. here. After tonight, we have only one day to get this thing ready for, for the screening. And uh, we're cutting it real close. We're all going to go to Monkey Land to a sound mix. There's only so much time in the day. And so we'll get as much done as we can. And then we'll probably just have to say that's it. We may have to come down for the dialogue, you know. Getting ready for the screening has been very difficult. And it's quicker than normal, the process that we find ourselves in. It concerns me a bunch because Bob Weinstein is going to be there. And we might not be ready. We're missing a lot of sound at that window. And the Monster Girls have to be louder. We're mixing a whole film in one day. Regular films, you know, the news. I don't know, it could take a month, at least. Here we're doing the five reels in one day, and it's done. In a movie like this, sound is so critical. So what we're scrambling to do now is in one day, get the mix to the point where we're supporting the scares. Moving on to two? Yeah. Did we make it within the two hour? No. 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 Not even close. We should have finished reel two right now, or, and then partway into three. We've only mixed two reels. Five total reels. We have more than half the film to be mixed, and, you know, including the big ending. And uh, we're, we're kind of just spinning our wheels. It's 11:20, and I believe people thought we would actually be out of here about four hours ago. Doesn't work that way. It's a time-consuming process. The screening's 15 hours away. 15 hours away. It's 4.35 in the morning, and we've been uh, mixing this movie for almost a full day straight. Is that a wrap? Yes. All right, what do you need from me? Thank you, sir. I think we've put our best foot forward. We've got a great-looking picture right now. 
The sound is good. I mean, for, you know, for one day to do what we did was insane. We're all going to grab a few hours of sleep and then be back all dialed up for the screening tonight. So you're going to run to Photochem and then run to, to Lakewood? Yeah. John, are you going to go with him? I don't know. I had to do laundry. This evening we're at the Pacific Theaters where uh, Feast will be unveiled before 400 people and we're going to get our first genuine feedback from an audience that has never seen it, doesn't know anything about it. The mood, I guess, as well, you know, uh, nervous. Ner definitely nervous, definitely nervous. I programmed my map thing on my computer, car, yeah. on my car for Palos Verdes, which is the nearest cliff in case our numbers are like... So ready to get in the car, we go, take left, yeah. <laughs> keep going, don't stop. Do this. Yeah. I'm going to say that I, I think it's going to go well tonight. I'm out on that limb. You're going to see something that is not completely done. And uh, sometimes it's a little rough watching these things. <laughs> and uh, hopefully ours won't be that rough. And uh, people can get into it. If at the end of the screening tonight, the lights will come up as they are now, please stay in your seats. Please don't go to the exits. We have some information to hand out to you. Again, I want to thank you very much for coming and enjoy the movie. Thank you. Thank you. Everything we've done so far has led up to this moment. The film will live or die based on this screening with these people. Bear me. So uh, the movie's playing, and, and people are sort of responding. I think that the screening was awesome. I think it was a validation of all the hard work and, and the humor and the horror working together. It was great to watch it with this crowd. Yeah, great, man. Where's to your house? There were two moments during the screening where the audience started applauding. Like, wow, in your wildest dreams, you, you don't even expect such a thing. It was absolutely inflating. Seeing our film made was a dream come true. Something I've thought about for 29 years, and then we finally saw it. The people in front of me were laughing so much that I thought that they were fakes. Right now, the audience is filling out questionnaires to say if they did or didn't like the movie. It's <laughs> if they, if they, if they laughed and jumped and everything. So. I've been in some good test screenings. That's a pretty good one, I gotta tell you. Now we have to wait for the numbers to be tallied and find out what people really think. Hopefully it'll be good. Coming up next on Project Greenlight. How many of you liked the way this film, film began? Okay, so we have the numbers overall. How many of you liked the way this film, film began? One, two, three, four, five. Scoring that you look for is people who rate the film in the top two columns of very good and excellent. If your movie can score in the high 60s, the 70s, or if you're blessed in the 80s, you're, you're, you're golden.